Hello scrapbookers, this is Megan and I am back today with another Spiegel Mom Scraps layout. So for this layout, I decided to pull out all of the fun sequins and things that I have from the Spiegel Mom Scraps store and to kind of just go through them and pick out which ones I wanted to use. So here I'm just showing you the ones that I am pulling aside and they are A Day in the Woods, Falling Leaves, and Autumn Joy are the sequin mixes I'm going to be using and then also I am using the Cork Confetti Little Stars. I am going to use these three photos of my oldest son Jonas waiting for the bus ride and this was September of 2008 so he was four and this was the first time that he was going to ride the bus. I remember it and I was just like, oh my gosh, he's four. This is too crazy. So, um, this is kind of a big, a big milestone in our lives. So I wanted to make sure to document this. So now here, what I'm thinking is I'm going to use that Tim Holtz, um, stencil with the, the textures, but I, didn't want the textures to get lost in the background paper so I decided to switch out that craft paper with this white paper which you can get in the Spiegel Mom Scraps store and I am going to use this textures and it is called Gold Mine and it is gorgeous oh my goodness I love this stuff and it's so fun to work with and which this this um, is called textures from shimmers paints and you can get it in the Spiegel Mom scrap store so I will leave links to all the products that I use from the store in the description below so here I'm thinking okay I'm just gonna do this one side but then I kind of felt like uh, the other side of the photos needs a little bit of you know texture fun over there as well so I am going to put a little bit of this texture paste over there and then I am going to set this aside and let it dry. The only downside to the, the textures um, and the, the dazzlers is that it does take kind of a while to dry but it's totally worth the wait. I would not, if that's your hang up, I don't know, then yeah maybe you don't want them but I totally don't mind waiting because it's they are just amazing products okay so now here what I am going to do with my sequins this time is I'm going to make a little shaker pocket with this tag and my idea at first was to make the vellum piece go over the whole tag but then as I was putting it down I didn't really like how that looked as it was covering up that hole and then I thought it's going to be really hard to make sure that the sequins don't come out of the hole and to get the glue just right and everything. So I decided to chop off the top and I'm going to put glue on all three sides. And then I was going to lay it down and then stick the, the sequins in the top, but then I decided I didn't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the sequins down that I'm going to be using. So I'm using some yellow and greens and oranges from that A Day in the Woods pack. I really, really love all three of these packs um, that I'm using because they just scream fall. And so it was so fun to do this fall, fall layout. And it's a school layout. Um, so I kind of had fun straying from the normal school color theme, you know? Um, cause normally, normally you scrapbook, you know, like reds and blues and greens and, and you stick with the primary colors, but here I was able, because of the colors in the photos, I was able to use more fall colors. So there you can see it is all done and ready to go on my page. And this is actually the next day I did, didn't have time to finish it that first day. So I came back to do it the next day. Okay, so this is where I'm thinking, okay, we need something behind the photo. So I'm going to go into my stash and pull out this Chamel paper. And 
This is the only piece I had left of it, and it's from the True Stories collection. It was called Cappuccino, and I got it from a local craft store, but that's all I had left. I did have the Chamel True Stories paper pad, but for some reason it didn't have this green striped paper. The one that I wanted, of course. So, crazy story here. I am actually going to stop the video, and then you will see in a moment that I have a full sheet of that paper. Um, so I actually was crazy and I stopped scrapbooking and recording and I went to that store and I bought two more pieces of this paper because I really, really wanted it. I also showed you some paper clips that were from the Take Me Away collection, which I was super excited for because I didn't get the paper clips online, but I did find them in this store. So I was super excited about that. Anyway, sorry, that was kind of a long charade there <laughs> explanation. So here I cut it down to go from the top to the bottom and I am loving how that looks but I'm still kind of feeling like there needs to be another layer behind the photos so I'm going to pull out this other piece of paper. This one is a simple stories paper. Um, let me see if I can find the name of it. Oh goodness. Yeah it is called Hey Pop. Um, I think it's from the number one dad collection, maybe? I don't know. It's a simple stories, simple stories paper, and it's actually one of my favorites. I have purchased this paper before, um, but I think I used it all up. So I was glad that when I went to the store that morning that I decided to pick it up because it was the perfect shade of blue to go with this layout. It matched the color of my son's blue jacket, who is standing in the background in that top photo and then let's see the greens match my son's backpack and the oranges um, in the sequins match my son's backpack and the bus as well so it's all just fun color excitement going on here <laughs> all these fall colors these are some of my favorite photos um, that bottom one I don't know if you can see uh, very well, but my son is sitting right behind the bus driver and he's actually waving to me. So I just, I love that photo. The fact that the bus driver is like talking to my husband about, you know, picking him up and dropping him off every day. And then Jonas is waving, you know, bye, <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> and that middle photo, oh, I just love the, um, Oh my goodness, I'm drawing a blank. White space? Yeah, I love the white space in that photo. He is on the third. That's what it's called. I love doing, taking photos where the subject is on a third of the photo. Okay, so now you can see I glued down some of those um, confetti stars. And those are cork pieces that are in the Spiegel Mom Scrap Store as well. Here I'm just going through this little jambalaya of ephemera. <laughs> These are all of the collections from Citrus Twist Kits over from the summer. So I think it was like June, July, and August is when I got those kits. Maybe May. May, June, July, and August I think is are the kits that I got. So here I'm just kind of playing around, putting some pieces down and and trying to figure out exactly where I want things to go. And I'm sorry about my voice. I am sick. Whoops, and I totally am not used to my new scrap space, so I totally just hit my camera. I apologize about that. Um but yeah, I'm sick and I just, bleh. I but I needed to get this voiceover done so I didn't want to not do it. Um, so I am sorry about my voice. I hope you can get through this. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to glue down this cute little frame. And let's see, what else am I doing? 
I'm going to cut down this label. So one of the fun things about the Citrus Twist Kits is that you get a new sheet of labels every month. And so this was one of the labels that I got in one of their kits this summer. And um, you just cut it off of a sheet and then you can use them in your layouts. And that was the perfect shade of green. It matched the layout well. So here I'm just going to put down these labels and then that little cute rosette. I cannot remember for the life of me where I got it from. I think it was like a tar Target um, dollar spot purchase or something. I also had this adventure tag that I think that was from the Fancy Free collection. But I couldn't figure out where to put it down there in that bottom cl cluster. So I'm actually going to put it up there in that top cluster. So I'm going to kind of move them, move around the, the embellishments and, and things up here in this cluster. And I'm going to kind of fuss with this for a little bit. And now I'm going to start gluing all these pieces down. There was a cute little clock that I found that I thought was so cute. So I had to put that in that bottom cluster. I'm going to eventually do my stamping like a date down there in that bottom right hand corner cluster. And now I'm going to start thinking about doing the title and the journaling. And I knew before I even started the layout that I wanted the title to be Waiting for the Bus, which, I mean, duh, it's a super simple, super easy, super lazy title, but I mean, it's, I don't know, it's what we were doing, right? So I, I was okay with being kind of lazy with this title. It took me forever to find the right, um, letter thickers for this title. So I think I'm going to cut out most of this because it seriously took me forever before I finally decided on the right ones. I really liked this um, Atwell collection thicker set, but like seriously, I am down to the bare minimum on this, this um, alpha set. So it's not going to work out. I think like half of this word waiting was all ones that I was going to have to jimmy rig to to make it into the letter I want it to actually be. So I'm going to decide not to do that, but I will kind of cut out all of this because this video was pretty long today. I think it's like 20 minutes, at least 25 minutes, something like that, but I will be back. Okay, guys, so I finally found the right alpha thickers that I want to use. So these ones, I believe, are American Craft thickers. I don't remember the name of them, but I'm going to um, spell out the word waiting, and then I'm going to use these Ellie's Studio cream ones to spell out the words for the and then bus, I'm going to use the blue ones again. My first idea was to have it just be right here, right above those stars, and it's not going to work out like that, so I'm going to end up changing it. But here I'm just spelling out the words for the, and I'm going to put those down underneath waiting. And I am going to fuss around with this title for quite a while. So this is where I'm like, okay, I kind of wanted it to be all in one line and I wanted to do my journaling right above it and have it meet the title and it just wasn't going to work out that way. So I, yeah, I had to consult my crafty friends <laughs> and, um, they came to the rescue. Okay, so you can kind of see what I I did kind of move the, the word bus up there. 
on that second line, but I didn't really like the way it looked. And then um, Christy suggested maybe putting it in the white space on that second photo. And that is where it is going to end up. So now here I'm just going to start gluing down these three stars up at the top. And I'm still just kind of waiting and thinking about the position of the title. And I'm just going to end up doing it because I, I really like the way that looks. I think it was a really good idea. I did try, you know, maybe moving it up to the top line or to the top photo. And um, I like that too, just not as much as that middle photo. So here I'm going to try using up that, that space in that top photo, but I don't really like it. I mean, I liked it, but I kind of felt like the word bus was just kind of floating there, and so I didn't, I didn't want it to look like it was just floating there. So that's why I decided to move it down um, to that middle photo, and it just, it fits perfectly right there. So I'm going to put down the word waiting, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, and then the word bus, and I'm actually going to move the word waiting down and then the word bus up after I put down these two words for the. Also, one of the things, um, this alpha, sticker alpha is so light compared to the background, um, like the background is white, the, the photo where it's going, the photo is white, and then the alpha is off-white and so it doesn't stand out very much so I'm gonna end up outlining those two words and that's gonna look much much better after I outline it and then it stands out a little bit better so here's where I kinda mess around with with the placement of the letters and I'm thinking that's pretty much it. I am going to do some journaling. I just wanted to make sure that that I get the journaling right. So I didn't want to do it on camera. And actually, I didn't do it for the photos either. So I'm sorry about that. <laughs> oh, okay. I forgot that I had done this. So I found another alpha after I had turned the the camera off and I was like well maybe this alpha will help the words for the stand out a little bit more because I wasn't sure if I wanted to do the outlining but I put it there and I didn't really like it as much as I liked the off-white so here I'm just pulling out a couple blue pens and then my black EK tool pens you can see there that I was very resourceful and I used a pen to to put my hair up <laughs> so that's fun, right? <laughs> the things you do when you're in your scrap studio and you don't want to leave to go get a hair clip. <laughs> but that is my layout for today. I hope that you will come on over to the blog post to check out some more photos and some more fun and interesting facts from me. <laughs> I hope that you guys have a great scrappy week. Thanks so much for watching. Bye! Bye.